Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to make a grid map in Google Earth. I have Google Earth open, and I've located my cemetery, which is the Pine Creek Cemetery, located on Broyles Road, uh, just a little bit north of Chico. It's a historic pioneer cemetery. You'll notice uh, it's not a huge cemetery, so this should work very well. This is the size of cemetery that you're actually kind of looking for, or an area of a larger cemetery that you might be looking for. You don't really need to go certainly anything larger than this, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to have our elevation uh, about 500 feet or so. We want to be zoomed in fairly close but not so close that um, we're not going to be able to see the whole cemetery. If you look down here at the bottom I'm zoomed into about 495 feet. That's a good altitude to be at. We also want to make sure that our map is flat and we are pointed directly north. You'll see the north arrow here at the top. I can move my orientation by moving this north arrow. And sometimes when you're zooming in, this will get off center. So just click on that and that will reorient you to be directly north. Also, this downward area, air, sorry, arrow will be used to make sure that you're view is completely flat otherwise it can be a little bit skewed so make sure that when you're zooming in you play with the north arrow and the downward arrow to make sure that you're completely flat and centered in on your cemetery so we're going to start by making an outline of our cemetery we're going to use the path tool it's this third icon up here that has the three round dots on it you want to click on that and we're going to title this outline Go ahead and pick a style for it. Uh, usually red is really good. Uh, something that's going to pop off the page at you, make it easier for you to see. And we're also going to select a width of about two pixels so that we can uh, get a good view of our outline. Okay, now just set this box over here to the side for the moment, uh, somewhere where it's out of your way. Now you'll notice we have this square box. Uh, icon on our screen and we're going to use this to draw a basic outline of what we think the boundaries of the cemetery are so we can lay down a grid. I have some tree cover here so um, it's a little difficult in some areas but we're going to assume it's going to be the edge of this road and the edge of this road here uh, probably down this tree line here and down this tree line here so let's get started. We're going to click once that's going to bring up a point. If you go straight down to where you want to make your next point, click. You can click on that little dot again. If you want to make sure your line is straight, you can just go ahead and line it up. We're going to come over to our next point, which is about here, and drag that so it's level. And then up to our next point. And then back to close. And that's really more or less what we're looking for. Okay, so now you can go ahead and click this OK button here down at the bottom and this will give us a outline layer. Alright? Next thing we want to do is lay down our grid. So we are going to take the ruler tool which is up here at the top. It looks like a ruler. Click on that and we want to put this to feet in our case. We're going to start at this corner and we're going to section this off into about a hundred foot section so go ahead and um, well let's put a place marker here to start. Let's put our first place marker and we will call this A. Now let's take our foot tool measurement here and we are going to draw a path. We're going to click on A and we are going to draw on over I have 72 or 70 feet. Don't take your uh, cursor away from here. We are going to grab that little mark and we are just going to keep drawing and if you look at the path tool you can now see it says it's 92 and we're going to take that over to about 100 feet. Okay? And we are going to put our second marker which we're going to call B. Now we can go back and edit these markers later, but 
this is just so we can get it laid in here. You can go ahead and clear this again, and we're going to start at B, and we're going to click our path, and we're going to move on over. Uh, just click down so you can see what your feet number is. Grab that marker again, and we're going to take this over to about 100 feet. All right, and you're probably not going to be able to get this exact, but pretty close. And again, we're going to add another marker here, and this is what we're going to call C, and OK. And we're just going to continue doing that all the way across the top. OK, so I'm uh, just about to add my last marker um, going horizontally. Clear this. Click. Now, if, you're, if you do this, you notice that I just clicked and I drug, and nothing's happening over on the left-hand side of my screen where it says feet. If you're having problems with this, go back and re-click on this button here, and then that will make sure that it's activated. Now it says I've gone 26 feet, and we're going to take this over to our last... area which is not quite a hundred feet. Alright, so now we're going to go horizontally. So, um, I'm sorry, we're going to go vertically. So, again, we want to make sure that we are a hundred feet down. So let's click on our marker here. And we're going to click and drag. And again, it's being snarky. So we're going to come down about a hundred feet. Now, does this have to be 100 feet? No, but um, for our purposes, it just makes it s simple, okay? We're going to use 100 foot sections. If you're working on other sites that might be doing this in meters, depending on where you are located. We're going to mark that, and then we're going to do another one, 100 feet from there. But this just gives us a nice square 100 foot grid. Call this one. Call that one. Okay. So uh, let's just go ahead and lay in another line. Um, we're going to use our path tool again. And this one we're going to call grid. And just go ahead and have a red and we're still at two dots so that's fine. Our first path by clicking on our arrow and then dragging this straight across so we're going to add another one this is going to be our Call it grid two, and click here. Make sure that's square, and then hit OK so you don't have the problem with it overlapping. And now we're going to do the same thing for our vertical lines. So again, your polygon, doesn't matter how you label these, that's going to be up to you. Whatever works for you is fine. Again, this thing is a little snarky, so you might have to go back and double click that arrow to get it to show up. Okay. So that's our basic grid. Now what we want to do is we're going to take these pins and we're going to move them. Right click on it and hit properties. And then we can go ahead and grab this guy and we're just going to move it to the center of that square. 
Okay. Uh, you can also go ahead and if you want to change the color of the label to something like, you know, blue, you can do that. Can't see that on the thing, so maybe white is a good option. Uh, you can also change the size of it, of the icon itself. If you don't want the yellow, you can go for something like orange. You can also change it if you want it a little bit smaller. All right, that's going to be up to you. Whatever works best for you, just go ahead and do that. And I think that's a little small, but that's fine. So uh, again, properties, and then once we have a hold of it, we can go ahead and move it to the center of our square. We'll make them all orange since we started down that path. And actually, I think one is fine. You're not going to be able to move it unless you're actually in the properties box. Okay. All right. So go ahead and you can finish that up. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing for our vertical markers. Uh, properties. Again, move it to the center of the box. Okay. So now we have a grid pattern. So anything that falls in A1 will be marked in this area, A2, A3. All right, so um, you're going to take this map with you when you go to the cemetery. And when you start walking around and looking at these gravestones, you should be able to figure out, well, I like this gravestone here. And it was in 1861 as the marker. And you can just go ahead and make a note on your map. So it'll come in very handy for you when you're out in the field. Also, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and take a picture of this. So I'm just going to bring my Jing over here and make a snapshot of this and save it. I'm going to call it grid map. And then I'm going to save it in my folder. And I will be able to print as many copies of this as I may need or want. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.